Hmm. What's up, guys? He's back! Mm -hmm. And I'm still grinding away. <sighs> he now got to experience the level 10 monologue. Yes, and I was a kind of benevolent YouTuber. I did not make y'all go through that. Because that was just ridiculous. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry, was that loud? Uh, a little bit. But we managed to unlock this. This is what I need. The re resurrection altar. The re 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 resurrection altar. Managed to kill a couple goblins. I also killed a uh, dark fallen and got the bow. Even though I can't craft the arrows yet. But for right now, we are going to unload some of our stuff that we don't need as of this very moment. Aka that that. And that, we're going to go gather some shards with our staff. Because that's the best way to get shards in this game. Because it takes a hundred magic shards. Yeah. But it's worth. Once this happens, if I die again, as I'm prone to do in this game, as y'all have all seen, I can uh, res... Hmm? Bargash is like between me and the guards. Hmm. But I can respawn at my base. I, re I refuse to move anymore. I'm done. Until I find a better place that I can just fly to and get to town. I'm not going anywhere. I'm making a stand. They can't run me off my land. Oh. Speaking of Fargash, where did it go? Yeah, the wife did bring up a valid point, though. We haven't tamed anything yet. I can't tame anything yet, but... I need to go hunting for a boar at some point. I know there's some that spawn around the dead town up there, but I also know Deathstalkers spawn around that big town. There were a couple of boar closer to base, which I may go back for. Do it back! But as I was saying, there are a couple of boar back there. That's basically tame wise, your first one that you really want to go for is the boar. It's a decent melee, it's pretty quick on the uptake. All in all, it's a worth tame in my opinion. And if you are wondering why I'm using the uh, staff here on stones instead of trees, I want to keep the trees intact. Because A, that's wood for me down the road. But B, that's, uh... It also blocks off a lot of the bigger spawns. There we are. I've also contemplating... Or contemplated... Putting an external wall around my base. That's the one downside of this game. Unlike Ark, you don't have fence foundations. If you want to build a wall, you have to build kind of a single wide building. Which is cool because you can set it up like battlements. Which is kind of nifty. I'm head on a swivel here if you are wondering why I keep looking around. I had a couple of dark fallen just jump out of nowhere earlier. Oh yeah, that's non-destructible. Oh yeah, I meant to look. Could have hit you. You is the quick thing for that. Armor crafting. Armor crafting. Nope, I haven't learned the gauntlet yet. Getting close, but not there. We've learned the hood. Well, the hat thing. Yeah, that thing. Oh, uh, ten more. Only ten more. Yeah, the sprite for the rare stone looks really cool. It's all like glowing stuff. I hope they incorporated more recipes that take the rare stuff. Because I know they did with uh, one of the spells you can make. Which is that one. Because if you look, it takes... Uncommon wood and uncommon stone and three campfires. 
Okay. Oh, rotisserie staff hit a special cooking spell that transformed a taint. Transforms a tame turkey into an instant feast. That's so wrong. Basically, you go tame the turkey, you make it your friend, and then you turn it into dinner. I was wondering what that spell was all about. Last time I used it, it was broke. It didn't work. Right, now we have our magic shards. <clears throat> Okay, I'm back. Hello, back. Watch out. Oof. Man, for a dwarf, I bounce, dude. It's like, ha oh. So, what you're saying is rolling dwarves. I feel like Mario. It's me, Mario. Uh, extinguish the fire. Technically, yes, I want as much of the charcoal as I can get for hook arrows later, but right now I can't make them, so there's no point in burning that wood. Not until I get to that point. Alright, <sighs> Rooney. Let's see. Inventory. So we've got the bones, the hide, the shards. Now we need 75 quartz and 75... Sulfur powder. Let's see. I've got this. No, I ain't got either. I need the sulfur and the quartz. So back to making those. You know, it'll be really nice. Hmm. Well, are you still recording? Yeah. Well. Oh. Um. If you could hire a guard to protect your establishment. Yes. I mean, understandably, it'd be like a fee for distance. Mm-hmm. Because it makes sense because of where they're birthed. But I mean, come on. Just give us some protection and then continual dying. <laughs> yeah, this game is unforgiving on things. And I agree that, you know, they wanted to make it more of an MMO than anything. Why not? Do that. Give it a little more of an aspect of an MMO than just a survival game. And it also give it a little more depth. Because then it, well, that's in balance. It's like, is it going to be an MMO? Is it large houses? Is it a large server population? Is it a small server population? Yep. A simple equation would be fine. Mm -hmm. Like, not much. I mean, the computer already does the math for you. Just put in the equation, let it do the calculations, and voila, here's the money. Yep. Honestly, I'd say a simple vari variable equation with distance, the level you want the guards, how many you want, um, and that's basically about it. Yeah. Well, player level, because you don't want players that's on a massive populated server to have whatever the max level, I'm just going to pick 100, I know it's not right, but 100 level guards and you want 10,000 of them, but yet every player character is maxed out? Yeah, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But, I mean, if you make it to where it costs a lot more to have higher level guards as a higher level player, mm -hmm. then it deters them from abusing the system. I'm not saying they're not going to, but you won't have a bigger occurrence. Yeah, it's like you said, it, it's a, a deterrent. A good deterrent. But at the same time, too, I mean, you keep it balanced enough to where players of low... Oh, there's where you are! Completely Bar, topic. Yeah. yeah, sorry about that. But I mean, that way you also have it to where new players, they can afford to have that protection. Mm-hmm. And it's not just, I'm going to get raped, I'm going to die. It's like, no, I can actually do something. Yep. Oh, uh, we have, hallelujah, a spawn pad. What do you mean? It's oh, it's got to be out in the open, open. That's fine. We'll put it right by the door. Perfection. Well, no, that's kind of in the way. Let's put it right there. I don't know. It's just an idea. No, I agree. I wholeheartedly agree. I have... I'm not saying every player has to do it, but it should be an option. Mm -hmm. And please don't put it in the level 10 monologue. Yeah, the freaking 20-minute monologue. Is that how long it took? Yeah. It literally, I was watching it. It was about 20 minutes. Oh, good gravy. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I need to get this. I need to get twine so we can get hook arrows so we can tame stuff. Cooking, what's the next thing I learned in cooking? Oh yeah, the focusing potion. Need that. Yeah, I just was able to make one. Well, I mean, if you make the tea leaves, it does bring your focus up quite a bit, but it's not as good as a focusing potion. It's more of a concentrated. Alright, so we're... I'm gonna whack on some trees, get some twine until we can get hook arrows, and I'll be back. Alright, people. We got her going. Give me all this. I did craft a few arrows off camera. I'm probably gonna make a few more real quick here. But unlike Ark, this this crafts each air or five arrows at a time. And I don't yeah, five arrows at a time for basic arrows, but if you do the hook arrows, it's one arrow at a time. So you'll notice, yeah, one, two, three. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it also takes, um, oh, magic shards. See, it's three charcoal, five twine, one arrow, and one magic shard. Arrows are not a problem. Magic shards, not necessarily a problem. Say, Thing is, though, I don't want to craft... I want to craft 20 of the stone hook arrows, but I also am wanting to craft another bow so I can have the hook arrows on one bow and the stone arrows on another bow. It's just easier to swap back and forth. So, we're going to do that. I'm going to give a roam around, try to find a couple, or at least one decently level boar, and I'll bring y'all back for the takedown. All right. Wow, guys, I can't believe this actually worked, and I didn't even realize it worked, but uh, I was coming after some pigs, and then I realized I knocked out a wolf. Mmm. Okay. That works. Because the wolves, you don't need saddles. He was you don't? A, no, no, the wolves are like the wolves on uh, Ark. You don't need a saddle for them. Huh. No, he was up here killing the dills, and I kept hitting him with arrows, and he just wasn't moving. I was like, oh, okay, well, maybe maybe he's passed out. So, got up close, and sure enough, he was asleep. That's awesome. So, we're getting a wolf for our first mount. Uh, are you serious? That's right, you turn around, you little jerk. Had a goblin wandering up like, Hey, I want a piece of this. That's annoying what they do. I uh, wonder if eventually you can play as a goblin. I doubt it. I said eventually. Maybe. I hope he eats friggin' uh, cooked meat, because I just realized I ain't got a lot of raw meat on me. Where'd that goblin go? Oh, wrong button. What did I? Hmm. Is he eating any? What's his tame? Oh, his tame's not looking great either. Uh, we'll see. There's not a lot around here that I can just take out. Mm mm. Uh, I'll go hunting and we'll bring y'all back when it's a little closer to hopefully him being tamed. Yeah, all right, people. We got a wolf. Uh, I'm gonna break this that way it's not in anybody's way that possibly may live here later. This is so epic. I love the fact that you can ride these guys without having to have a saddle. I'm going to remember, though, that there's that boar over here, because I still want to get a boar to gather spores, which we need later on down the line. But we did taming, base building, did quite a bit today. I think this is a good place to call it. Any parting words for our, my viewers, Liv? Dang, Rice. Yeah, she's getting, like, wrecked over there. It's not even funny. But I'm going to try to get this ba guy back to base without having too many issues. Oh, never mind. There's a lot of pigs over here now. Sweet. Okay. Please let there be some guards still left. 
But we will catch y'all in the next one. Good luck and God bless. Later.